this edit, I'm going to look at the glitch transition. Uh, it's a simple transition between two clips, uh, and that's pretty cool. So I'll just play it through, and, uh, and then I'll show you how you do it. So as you can see there, it's uh, transitioning between the two clips, and here is the other one. So I'll just put the clips back to the original, uh, and then I'll show you how um, I got this effect. So I've returned the clips back to the original, so I have three clips in the timeline. So now they just play from one to the other. So with the first transition that I did, I'm going to find the spot on the first clip where I want it to start to glitch, okay? So I'm just going to find a spot, and I want it to start to start to glitch around there, okay? What I then do is grab the second clip, drag it and on top of this first clip, okay, and leave it there. So then what I'm going to do is go to uh, where the first clip ends, okay, and I'm going to cut the, the second clip, okay, so Command B. Now I've got two clips from the uh, second clip. And I'll just drag this one now down into that main uh, line, timeline. So now to get that glitch uh, transition, it's pretty simple. Uh, what you need to do, I'm just going to zoom in a bit. Uh, so you go to the first clip, so then using the keys on your keyboard, you, know, you want to use the right key and you just want to go in maybe say three or four, one, two, three, four, and then command B. And you can see there it's cut that clip. And then I'm just going to do that with this whole top clip here. I'm going to just go in one, two, three, four, command B, one, two, three, four, command B, and so on. That's so I've just finished chopping this top clip up uh, four key frames at a time. So one, two, three, four, chop, one, two, three, four, chop, and so on. And then what you want to do is, this is the easy bit. I'm going to start at this one here at the start. And when you press V, it disables that clip. Okay, And you can see now that this first clip here is showing. Okay, So if you just do this to every second one, then it's going to ultimately show the top clip between the um, bottom clip, okay? So this one here, okay. So when you play it back, you get that uh, glitch transition, okay? See how it's quite slow and it's not, it doesn't really look right? That's because I did four keyframes at a time, okay? So it's jumping four keyframes. So really, I, maybe I should have done two or one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, get that back to normal. And this time, I'm going to cut it up uh, by two keyframes at a time. So, one, two, control B, command B, one, two, command B, one, two, three. Okay, so I've just finished chopping this up two keyframes at a time. So, as you can see, one, two, chop, one, two, chop. Again, go through and disable every second clip. Okay. So, that's two frames this time that I've chopped up. It looks a bit better than it was before at 4. So you can play around with this a bit. So I'm going to go to the next clip. So this is a little bit different with between these two clips. Uh, I'm not going to overlap any clip. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the end of this clip. And then I'm going to go in one keyframe and blade. One keyframe, blade. One keyframe, blade. So maybe I'll do it uh, eight times. So. So in, at the end of this clip, all I've done is I've cut this up into eight uh, little clips, so eight frames. And then I'll do the same to this intro clip. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so now I've got 16 little clips here. And again, all I'm going to do is disable every second clip. Okay, and what it's going to do is it's obviously going to quickly glitch between the two clips. And I'll show you that. There you go. And that's that one done. So that's pretty fast and easy. So say you don't want black to be the color between the two clips. Okay, so you want it to be, say, white or something like that. That can be easily done. Um, you just have to go to generators, and I'm just going to go to a solid. Um, and let's just chuck in a white, okay? You just chuck that in behind it, and now it's going to show the white. So I'll play that through. 
and you can see it now it's just a white transition okay so that's pretty easy uh, and yeah you can change around with that so then you can go to the effects here and you can change this to say you want it to be beige okay. another thing you can do is you can add like little sound effects so I am going to go to this one here uh, which is uh, sound effects and so if you go to warp uh, you can type it in that's a cool one so I might use that go drag it on so you just position it where you kind of transition okay so that's uh, you don't have to use these I'm just showing you you can use these you might not know that these are here so as you can see this one is a bit too long for this uh, glitch transition so I'm going to speed it up a bit okay so I just kind of sped it up and made it kind of fit um, you can play around with that but there you go see so there you have it there's the glitch transition so there's the two different types okay and yeah so it's a pretty pretty fast and effective way to do a little transition um, uh, yeah if you like the video then give us a like or subscribe maybe leave a comment um, cheers